going back to the whole uh, leadership thing, like, would, how would you, like, when you're leading your team or even now, did you have to like study other leaders? Like, did you look up to any particular people or did you were just like, I'll figure it out? <laughs> Actually, <laughs> I was, I think it was like the end of my junior year or maybe my senior year. I don't remember when it was, but I, I like took some sort of class. Maybe it was at like Sodium or something. I don't know where I was, but it was like a special workshop taught by like Keone and Mari. Oh, sick. Yeah. And so I like, I just, I wanted to figure out, cause I could feel like I was missing something. Like there wasn't like a, like a, un, a complete unity to how I was leading, which I now know was due to the fact that I should have been in therapy. <laughs> 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 how can you unify other people when you are all a, a mess and you're yeah. 20 years old, you don't know what's going on. You're giving your address to strangers. Like, come on. <laughs> but you know, like I, so I like, basically I was like, Hey, like, do you mind it just talking to me for a second? And Mari was busy. So I talked to Keone for like, I mean, he really gave me a lot of time and we talked for like maybe 10, 15 minutes about just like leadership. And I was like, oh. sick. <laughs> yeah, it was so beautiful. And then I kind of came back wherever I was at. Like I noticed kind of a difference. I don't know. I don't know when it was, but I just remember feeling different you know, after that conversation, obviously, because, because obviously Keone and Mari are, are brilliant choreographers and brilliant people. I think, yeah, they, they really set the bar in many ways. Yeah. I mean, just, yeah, they're, they're really incredible. And so I think like that experience kind of sort of softened my energy in the right way to where I could like truly be like, yes, you do this and you do that. And this is how you delegate. That was mm. kind of what came out of it, you know, not needing to be everything for everybody, but mm. that I can't be everything for everybody. And I don't need to hold in all of the, all of the shit that every person's bringing to me. I can like bring it to the group and like, we can figure that shit out, mm. yeah. you know? So that was probably like the only really person speaking into me at that point, but it was really, it was really sweet. And then I like took a class, like had, 10 months later or something like at some random you know how everybody's like in garages it was like at some ucla garage that like keone was teaching so i went out and like yeah i don't know what it was and then he immediately recognized me i was like <laughs> and he wouldn't recognize me now because it's been years but like that really kind of confirmed something for me i was like okay like this is fucking cool like keone just recognized me you know, so like I, he was like, how's your team doing? I was like, oh, that matters. What we do matters. What artists do matters. That's really cool. <laughs> you know? Yeah. So that was kind of the only person speaking into me at that point. But now I have like a thousand people speaking into my life, <laughs> which is much smarter. <laughs> so I have like all of these people, like mostly women in leadership from like many disciplines. Yeah like speaking into my life and, and helping me understand how to like lead my, my team and how to run my business and just how to like exist in the world. So yeah. much better off now that I have like more mentorship. Not Did that like there can't be an excess of things because there could, could be an excess, but I haven't reached the point of excess. Yeah. It saves the, 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 the heartache of experience. <laughs> so the heartache of fucking up. You just that's why I'm like seeing everything that's happening in the community, the people that fucked up. I'm like, I'm learning from this, so it does not happen to yeah. here. <laughs> are real fucked up. But there's so many ways in which we can be fucked up too. Mm, that's true. So it's, it's a reality check because it's like fucked up. Like they didn't just one day become what they were. They didn't just like one day start acting like monsters. It's like there's like little it's there's a series. Yeah. So it's like, we got to cut that shit down right now. Yeah. All of our little, little habits and behaviors now just like handle it. And then we'll never reach the atrocities. Yeah. That they've reached. Yeah. 